Oh, jet. Oh, take off, take off. Oh. 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 Ooh, what's this? Hello again, nations. War Thunder has a lot of them. Maybe even too many. And I have played them all extensively. So today, we're going to rank them in a tier list to determine which are god tier Russian buyers and which are, uh, naval tier poo. Now, join me as I offend half the War Thunder player base by ranking their favorite nation as trash. Now, this list will be completely based on facts and irrefutable evidence of what nations are playable in War Thunder. And not my 100% biased opinion based on my refusal to take any amount of tangible statistics or other forms of evidence into the equation. Ugh, stats. With that in mind, let us begin. Now, first off, I will start with America. Now, America is kind of like a cheeseburger. It's always good, but it's just not the best. In the American tech tree, you will find both great casts, like the F-16. Get wrecked, pants here. And great air superiority fighters, like the F-16. What is this audio? Just beep, 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 forever. Just doesn't stop. But you also find an array of iconic aircraft and tanks. I mean, come on. Who doesn't recognize the F-14 Tomcat? Now, the US tech tree is good from rank 1 all the way down to rank 8. Never the best, but always good. The one area where the US tech tree pulls ahead of most of the others is when it comes to variety. Pretty much all the way from rank 1 and down to rank 8, there's always a plethora of different aircraft to fly, be it for either air superiority or close air support. Hmm, did not expect that. Nice. Now, the US tech tree doesn't only have a right in air, but it also has it when it comes to tanks. At every tier, you will have many choices for SPAAs, MBTs, light tanks, or tank destroyers. Overall, I will put the USA in... Hmm... A tier. Now, the USSR is very good. They have strong tanks that are easy to play, as you do not need to engage your brain when using them at all. Now, other than having the slowest mains, except maybe <coughs> Germany, they do get the best tanks in the game. The USSR gets some very strong tanks, like the T-34, BMP-2M, oh god, do I hate the BMP-2M. Like, look at this thing. This thing used to be 9.3. Like, what was that? Anyway, they also get the T-80s, with that stupid OP era that stops kinetic rounds like they're made out of Play-Doh. And of course, we cannot forget the Panzer, the most hated SPAA in the game. Because it is so much better than anything else in the game that nothing can compete with it. The USSR also gets some great aircraft, like the Yak series for props, or the MiG-29s, which are competing with the F-16C for the best plane in the game. And for CAS, they have the MiG-27s, which are still, to this day, some of the best CAS planes you can find. And the KA-50. Need I say more? Ooh. Oh, we got hit. Ah, it doesn't matter. This is a KA-50. Th these things never go down, okay? Oops. Oh, kill. Yep, nice. Oh, another one. That's two. Oh, that's a third. We can get him too. Ah, oh, we did get Three kills. This thing's OP, okay? It's OP. Biased here. Now, the nation of T. Bad teeth and shit tanks. The UK tech tree has got to be the worst tech tree in the game. All their top tier tanks have two stage ammunition, and if that ain't bad enough, they also store the charges vertically underneath the turret. So, yeah. Hope you enjoy getting one shot. Now, some might say, oh, but the UK ain't that bad. Like, they have the Spitfire, and that's good, true, but much like a hangover, the UK tech tree is not that fun overall. It's just kind of an everlasting headache that only goes away once you queue us <coughs> Russia. I think the best plane the UK has when it comes to ARB 
is the Tornado F3, which, uh, you know, let's just say there's a reason why I've called it the Flying Boat, because much like Naval, it sucks. They got one good thing, though, the G-Links. That one is awesome at 10-0. Now, if I was to rank Britain, it would come in at... Naval to poop. Now, Germany. They get the Tiger and Panther. Need I say more? Well, maybe, because you see, while German tanks are very good, the players, well, eh, how can I put this? Leave something to be desired. A brain to be specific. Gonna help me anytime soon, teammate? No? Nice. But if you look away from the terrible players and the complete lack of top tier gas, it's pretty good, especially air. Like, German air is borderline OP until you get to the ME262s. Like, unstoppable. And a top tier, they get the MiG-29. So yeah, but Germany is not just great at tanks and planes, but also helicopters. Like, Germany gets the best starting helicopter in the game. And they also are the only ones that have a heli that has fire and forget a team is. Like, what? So, considering all this, A tier. Now, everyone's favorite. China. China is in this weird position, where they mostly get American and Soviet tanks and planes for most of the ranks. Well, I guess they only really have like 9 Chinese planes in total. They're okay, not great, just okay. But their tanks are top tier are amazing. Like, they get the USSR's Cope era, plus amazing pen. And to top it all off, they get an autoloader on their top tier MBTs. Like, that ain't fair. In air? China is kind of like a child that just can't make up its mind. Like, they just can't decide if they want NATO aircraft or Soviet aircraft. So, they just combine them. Overall, A tier. Japan is a nation that is known for... Uh, well, I, I can't remember anything. Hmm. So, in War Thunder, Japan is not great. The tech tree is very small for both ground and air. Early props is mostly fine, as the Zero Heroes are pretty alright. The guns are not the best, but look at that turn. Early top tier Japan suffers a lot, but the AG is pretty deep. Guess the best camos at least. Skin game is the real end game. In ground, Japan is... Car. Their tanks are not great, they have no armor, and the guns are usually not the best. But new SPAA, so... D tier. R3 goes room. D tier. France is much like its cuisine. Some of the stuff is amazing. But then you also have this. Like, why would you want this? Overall, France has some very good planes, like the Mirage 2000, and some subpar tanks with no armor. And according to some, a couple degrees too slow turret tremors. But it has the M2K, and I like that plane. So, D tier. Now, the Meatball Nation is honestly quite good in ground. In ground RB, Sweden is like Germany, just better. More armored Leo 2s with better commander thermals. Up until mid-tier though, Swedish tanks are best meh. But they do get the bias 34, so it's all good. In Air RB, Sweden is a different story. Their props are insanely good, but nothing beats the barrel. This plane may not be the best, but barrel. Plus SK-60s memes. Top tier is meh. Keep Sweden grip and plus C tier. Israel, honestly, is a very short tech tree with good tanks, good air, and yeah, B tier. Hello, and thank you for watching. If you like this video, why don't you check out this video? Or who knows, maybe subscribe. Anyways, bye bye.